there's a lot of agriculture that depends on seasonal work in your district. And you've been an advocate, especially the last 18 months, for immigration reform. How do you see that playing out in the House over the next few months? You know, we have to get immigration reform. We have a broken system today, and the longer we don't do anything, the longer it remains broken. It's broken for everybody, for employers, for the legal system, for obviously for folks that are here. Border security is an important element of this. Uh, it's sort of interesting, the last uh, two years or so, as I do teletown meetings, where literally I call 30, 40,000 households at a crack. And, you know, often we have thousands of folks on the line, even an hour into the call. Uh, immigration has been a subject every time that's raised with me. And I'm able to then ask the folks at the other end of the phone line, what is their view? Should we do immigration reform or not? And I outlined sort of some of the reforms the, that I support, a uh, number of different things, smaller bills than what the Senate did. And it's, a, it's, it's good for me to know that, in fact, things that I support are, in essence, four to one. It's 80-20 when people hit, yes, they support immigration reform or no, don't do anything. And for the detractors, many of them mistakenly think, oh, they're just for amnesty. No, this is not amnesty. I'm not a lawyer, but, you know, amnesty is, in essence, wiping the slate clean, putting people ahead of the line. No, we're not going to do that. No one goes ahead of the line. They're going to learn English. They're going to learn about our U.S. government. And they're going to go to the back. We're going to make sure they don't have a felony uh, conviction. I mean, they're going to pay their back taxes. That, to me, is not amnesty. It's called responsibility. Uh, we need a responsible plan. It needs to be bipartisan. And when this bill moves, and it will, and I hope in the, you know, in the next couple of months, it needs to be bipartisan. And particularly for the folks that are watching today or tonight, you need to contact your member of Congress and really hope that they're with us to try and fix a system that by every estimate is broken. We need this for our farmers. We need this for our, our students. We need this for the people that are here. We need this for our businesses. We need this for our country.